Hi, I'm Chris Augarino and I'm here in sunny Berlin at Cisco Live and we're in the DevNet zone. DevNet is Cisco's learning network for developers. I'm here today with Camilo Ashone. Hi Camilo. Thanks Chris, I'm very happy to be here with you and Phil. And Phil Cassini from Cisco. Hi Chris. So Phil, before we actually get rolling here, I know we're going to talk about SDN, we're going to talk about Cisco's APEM SDN controller, but maybe our audience might not know what SDN is or maybe not be clear on that. Can you just clear that up a little bit for us? Sure, Chris. So SDN, or controller-based networking, is really about the abstraction and automation of network functions that people normally do today manually. And the benefits are OPEX savings um, and the ability to be able to connect the network behavior in real time to applications for increased business agility. Excellent, excellent, thank you, thank you. So Camillo, it's a very exciting time. You're announcing some new software here at the show. Can you tell us a little bit about your new software? Yes, we are very excited to be announcing our net wrapper product here at Cisco Live in Berlin. The big problem that we solve it is making it possible to manage network resources according to application bandwidth requirements. <coughs> it, uh, it's very easy for our uh, net wrapper to understand uh, the uh, network bandwidth requirement uh, based on the application and uh, uh, work on the, through the SDN controller to manage the entire network. Uh, the top benefits for our customers is uh, for the DIT uh, people that work inside the customer uh, give them the possibility to manage uh, the entire network with the only one virtual application that is able to, to manage uh, network resources and control also services uh, like uh, uh, communication services. Excellent, excellent. And I understand NetWrapper uses the APIC EM SDN controller as a fundamental element in the software. How did you arrive at using APIC EM? Uh, two years ago, during the Partner Technology Advisory Board, I met Susie Wee and Dave Ward, and they were presented uh, the strategy on uh, Cisco uh, SDN controllers. It was amazing for me to discover that Cisco opened up the uh, API, API for on the SDN controller uh, and gave us the possibility to develop high-value application for our customers. And so the API, so Phil. Um, Camilla was just telling us about how the APIC EM is open. Can you talk a little bit more about APIC EM? Tell us, tell us a little bit about how that works and what, what's open about it. So it gives the, uh, the openness gives the ability of customers or partners to take advantage of the core competencies they have. In this case with uh, Italtel, it's deep telecommunications experience and allows us to convert that into an application or something that they can use to help drive the network behavior. Um, and again, in this case with a partner, here's a great example of uh, putting their uh, expertise into a, a piece of software that customers can benefit from in terms of solution, but also they can benefit from in terms of uh, new re revenue generation for them. So APIC EM sounds pretty interesting, but I also want to know, you've been working with Italtel and Camilo for a couple years now, right? So right. how's that been? Has that been pretty exciting? Yeah, it has. It definitely has validated the openness of our environment. Uh, the northbound APIs uh, are published as in part of the DevNet portfolio, and so Camilio, it, with very little engineering help from us, has been able to create a, a reasonably complex application. Um, the services that we provide within APKM are very well suited for the enterprise networking world. It's basically user policies and business intent as it relates to having customers or, or people in their customer networks connect to the applications uh, such as, uh, in this case, telecommunications applications. And so, from that perspective, it's been uh, a wonderful journey, and it gives us the opportunity to be able to show how a platform like APKM can be used in a wide array of, uh, of solutions. Excellent, excellent. And Camilo, I understand DevNet was involved here, and you, you got a little bit of help there, so can you tell us, how did you guys, what was it like for you guys to get started, uh, and how did you learn the, the APKM API? Yeah, we started uh, with uh, DevNet. We had uh, just uh, to sign up uh, a form uh, online, uh, and we had the, the access to the API documentation, uh, and to to the lab, virtual lab, and to the sandboxes. Uh, these uh, three elements uh, uh, was very important to start our activity. 
Excellent, excellent. So if we had another developer that was trying to do their own network automation software in, in the world of SDN, what would you recommend for them to do to get started? Yes, of course, uh, the registration on DevNet is simple and is free. And the other part, uh, very important, is the lab. Uh, sign up uh, the, the lab uh, because we had a very good experience uh, uh, building our application using labs uh, on DevNet. So. Excellent, excellent, okay. So today we've been talking about SDN, we learned a little bit about that, we learned a little bit about APIC EM, we heard about this new net wrapper, exciting software from Italtel from Camilo. So I'd like to thank you all for coming into the DevNet zone and going under the hood with Cisco DevNet. <laughs>